Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. My name is Dora and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm showing you how to make this gorgeous liquid bubble bath and the packaging. I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I've formulated the perfect recipe. It's super easy and it's amazing at making bubbles. Stick around until the end where you'll be blown away at the results. To make liquid bubble bath, all you really need is distilled water and a bubble bath maker. For a list of bubble bath makers, click the icon. Boil the water and surfactant together so the powder is dissolved and everything is incorporated. I added the tiniest amount of dye for a light pink shade. After boiling it for about 5 minutes, take it off and weigh the mixture. It'll probably be under 10 ounces. Add more water and bring it up to 12. Or add ice to bring it up to 12 for much faster cooling. As the mixture cools, it will thicken a bit. Please read the description for the full recipe and substitutions. Now add one ounce of surfactant. The surfactant used here is called a co-surfactant and it's going to give the bubbles more body, boost bubble power, and allow them to last longer. Make sure the mixture is cooled below 100 degrees Fahrenheit to add fragrance and a preservative. I use Magnolia Blush because I'm currently addicted to it, but check out the liquid. Now it's thin and it has a milky white tint. If the bubble bath is really thin, you can add table salt a little bit at a time to thicken it up a bit. But remember that liquid bubble bath is supposed to be thin. The best consistency for liquid bubble bath looks like this. It's thin enough where it'll easily pour out of any bottle, but it's still thick enough to coat the bottle. I searched on Amazon forever for the perfect bottles and then I found these. They even have the heat shrink wrap tops so you can seal it just like a wine bottle. Now fill your bottles. The bubble bath should pour very easily going in. I accidentally made mine too thick, but here I am trying to do ombre colors where it gets lighter as it goes up. It would have definitely worked better with thinner liquids. Once the bottles are clean, add labels. I made a 3x2 label for the belly and a 1x2 label for the neck. I actually painted all the flowers in the backgrounds. 
I made these labels with my laser printer and waterproof paper. Click the icon for the label tutorial. You can jazz up the bottles with jewelry. I use metallic cord and a pack of gold charms to make necklaces for the bottles. Tassels add charm and finish the look. I made wider multicolored tassels by tying several of them together. I think they all came out great. I feel like the packaging makes the bubble bath really special. The charms hanging in front add class and sophistication, and the tassels add a pop of color and festive flair. This one's actually my favorite. I love the color of the bubble bath, and the orange in the label complements it perfectly. I don't recommend adding different colors together because there's a good chance they'll eventually merge together. Instead of one big tassel, you can try a few single ones like this. Wow, like really and truly just wow. I had no idea the bubble bath would be this great and produce this many bubbles. I used about a fourth, maybe a third of the bottle, which is way too much. Next time I'll use less than half of that. Thanks for joining me. All the supplies will be linked in the description along with tips, tricks, notes, the recipe, and substitutions.